So we're going to start by looking at the console layout itself. So jump into the Surface tab, and you'll see by default it says Recall Strip Assign Scene. So we're going to ignore this for now, just drag these out and do this ourselves manually. And the same on every page. Alright, so we're empty now. So this is on a DLive C1500. So all we have is four, uh, 12 faders to play with and six banks. We'll start by looking at some basic setups, uh, basic fader bank uh, layouts, and then we're gonna slowly get more and more advanced as we go and a bit more creative. Because um, as, as you only have 12 faders, it can be a little bit of an issue sometimes not having access to uh, all of the controls. Um, I know for some of the bands I work with, I. 12 faders by six banks isn't enough to get through all of the channels and auxiliaries and groups and effects and so on and so forth that I need. So if we jump into uh, uh, bank A here, to drag a uh, channel in, all you have to do is click and hold and drag and place it where you want. You can move them around like this. Or say if we have two channels, one and two, you can swap them by dragging it on top of the other channel. You can also use the block select button and select all the channels you want and drag them down as a unit. So what I'm gonna do is set all of these up just as, uh, uh, just drag channels into the first three banks. So we have A, B, and C. Block select. And we'll just run up to there for now. I'm going to lay this out as a standard festival patch, which uh, generally is drums, bass, guitars, um, downstage uh, lines, upstage lines, and vocals. So to label channels, you click on the channel, and you'll see at the top left, there will be a color and channel name here. Click on this. And I have a color scheme that I follow, but obviously feel free to do what you like. Just gonna label this kick in. And on director, make sure you tap enter. Um, or if you're on the console itself, make sure you hit apply, otherwise it won't save your name. Uh, I can use tab to go to the next channel on this as well. So we're just going to work through and label all these channels together. Awesome. And because in this file, let's set it up so we can do monitors from front house as well. So we're just going to add these next four channels in. And we're going to be doing a vocal split. So it's the same inputs for vocal one and vocal monitor one. It's just we, this way we can do a different EQ on the monitor send. Awesome. So we've laid this out and we won't get into our input routing and everything just yet, that'll be a later conversation. So what we've got now is our banks, so we have bank 1 with drums and bass, bank 2 has, or well, layer 2 has our guitars, downstage and upstage lines, layer 3 has our 6 vocals for front of house and then our 6 vocals for monitors. 
let's say on this next layer, we want to put our uh, buses, uh, uh, like our uh, fallback sends. So let's say we have six fallback sends. Now, let's say we also want to put our groups here. So let's say we want a, you know what, take off block select. So we want a stereo drum channel, a mono drum cross channel, stereo instruments, oops, that's a good one, stereo instruments, and a mono vocal. Let's label these again by clicking on the top left. We'll go drums, crush, instruments, and vox. On our next layer, we're going to do our effects, sends, and returns. So we come into our effects on the left here, block select, let's use one to six, and then here we use one to six as well. And then we come into F, and let's say we want this to be any of our utility things. So we we'll might bring our iPod in, take off block select, our iPod, our talk back. We're gonna jump into mix. We might put our main left right here, and then we have our matrix left right for our main fill, um, our main PA, mono sub, mono fill. Then we'll la label these sub, fill, LR. Currently we don't have our left right routed to these matrices, but we will get to that at some point. So as you can see with this layout, we have a fairly straightforward um, in instrument layout, drums, bass, guitars, downstage and upstage lines, vocals, vocal mon front house, vocal monitors. We have our wedge sends, we have our groups, then we have our effects uh, sends, our effects returns, and then we have utility on the, on the last page here. And while we have a few gaps, we have, you know, D has two spaces here, F we have some spaces here as well that we can fill in. If you have any extra channels that come in, so let's say a band comes in with lots of tracks and they're also using up these downstage and upstage lines for other instruments. Okay, sure, we might be able to fit two here. We might be able to fit a couple here. But that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channels. Okay, well, they have 10 channels. How can we work rework this to be able to fit more in? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do it. We have this library section here. So what we can do is click on that and we're gonna store this bank. So let's call this default. So this is our standard festival patch. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into bank D with our auxiliaries and groups. We're just gonna clear these out. We're going to jump in our inputs and let's use from here onwards. We need four more from forward, 48, there we go. So now we'll label these as our tracks. So we have tracks one left, tracks one right, yeah. tracks two left, tracks two right. Tracks three left, tracks three right, tracks four left, tracks four right, tracks five left, tracks five right, tracks six left, tracks six right. Lovely, so we've got all of our tracks here now. And we're gonna come back into library and we're going to store new and we'll call this tracks. What we have now is our standard layout from A, B, C, E, and F. It's the same layout as our initial um, layout that we made, but D has been changed to tracks. So we come back into library, default, recall, and now D is our auxiliaries and our groups. Again, you can go library, hit tracks, recall, now it's tracks. We can access this a little easier on our soft keys. 
if we go soft keys, and the soft keys are the buttons down generally the right hand side of the C1500. I think they're in the same place for the other consoles as well. I'm going to use soft key one. And I'm going to come down to strip assign recall. And we're going to make this toggle. Toggle library select default and optional library select tracks. And we're going to make this recall bank one as well. So when recall bank one is on with green like this, it means it will change our first bank up the top. Um, and if when you turn it off, it means it won't change your first bank. So you might have uh, your main, uh, like your left, right, and talk back and stuff. You may like to have this on your first bank, which means you can have it persist through any bank changes. But we're going to keep it as recall for now. So we'll just jump on D here, and you'll see when I hit soft key one, and again. We're swapping between our two fader lay layouts. So obviously we can change every single channel here to be whatever we want it to be and just use our soft keys to go between them. We can lay this out on as many soft keys as we want and make as many libraries as we want uh, to um, that will suit the show. Another way to lay this out as well is with DCAs. So I'm just going to clear all of these channels out here. I'm just going to clear bank one for the meantime. We're going to bring our DCAs. I'm going to select one through six and drag those in. And we're going to label these as drums, bass, guitars, um, upstage, no, it was downstage first, then upstage, and then Vox. To assign things to DCAs, you click on the DCA, come into routing, and assign the channels that you want. So we're going to assign drums to this DCA, bass here, guitars here, downstage lines, upstage lines, and our vocals. Now what we want to be doing is using these as spills. So I don't tend to mix with DCAs and use the faders. So what you can do, if you come back to this overview page by just clicking on the channel up here, I set faders to 0 dB. This locks the faders so you can't bump them and accidentally change the layers of uh, the volume of everything. Cool. And then we're going to jump into surface, control, DCA, MCA options, and spill active. Now, once we jump back into our fader bank here, you can't access it up here. We're going to select our mix button and all of the channels that are assigned to that DCA now spill out. So we have our drums, our bass channels, guitars, downstage, upstage, and vocals. Keep in mind the DCA will stay in the, location, the same location on the fader bank when you hit mix. So drums is on the left, bass, you'll see we have our bass mic, the DCA, and then bass DI. In guitars, we have guitar 1, 2, the DCA, and then guitar 3, 4. So that's just something to note is that the DCA doesn't move from its position. Um, if you assign more channels to a DCA than our fader, faders available in that bank, it just spills over into the next uh, channel banks. So I tend to mix this way when I'm doing um, either any bands that have um, a fairly basic input list or... Generally, most festivals I run this way because I can easily access things rather than having to go between banks and remember where things are here. It's just on the one bank um, at the top. And what I do with the rest of these faders uh, is my groups. So we go, we'll take off block select, drums, crush, instrument, vocals, and I'll also generally add a, an effects DCA here for spilling those too. So now on one page, I have access to all of my instruments and my vocals and all of my groups.